welcome. My name is Emma Al Abudi. I come from Guatemala City, it's in Central America. You know, all my family it's Christian. I come, you know, with from the Christian family. So, which is, you know, I'm be happy before to be Christian, you know, because it was the only way, by, you know, we know in that time. So I came to America 30 years ago, you know, looking for a better life. Alhamdulillah, now I know I get it. <laughs> so um, 16 years ago, you know, I was, you know, always attending to the Christian church and praying to, to God, you know, to guide me always for the, you know, the, in the good way. And the way what, you know, I was teaching so um, one day, you know, I started, you know, asking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God in that time, I didn't know who was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know. I started, you know, praying to find, you know, to, you know, uh, get a good husband, somebody to love him first than me. I was crying, you know, in the church praying and asking for, you know, a good husband. So. You know, when she, I was living in Chicago, and I started working in a in one company who make you know uh, uh, telephones. So in that place, you know, I meet the one who now is my husband. So you know, we was working together, and I tried to you know um, spread the Christianity way. You know what I know it within them. So in this. Uh, me and I started talking about uh, the Islam. So, and I was surprised. I said, what is the Islam? You know, and he tells me, you never hear about it. I said, no, I don't. So, and then he started talking to me about who was uh, his, uh, uh, we say Jesus, you know, in Spanish. He said, like, Jesus. Jesus is Jesus. Jesus, alayhi okay. salam. So, and I try to explain to him what I know, you know, in my own way. So, and then he started telling me, Emma, I'm sorry, but, you know, did you read your Bible? I say, yes, I read the Bible. And then he tells me, but the Bible say, who is Isa, alayhi salam. So, he started, you know, telling me about the Islam. And every, every time he tells me about the Islam, I turn my face and I cry. Because every, you know, explanation what he gave it to me about the Islam, it makes sense to me, you know. So every time I, you know, back, I back home, you know, in the night time, I start, you know, uh, like digesting everything in my brain what he tells me uh, during the day about the Islam, and I was crying every, you know, every day I cry, and I say. It makes sense everything what he tells me about Islam. But I never hear about it. It is true, it is not. It is true, it is not. So the uh, next day I asked again, I tried to, you know, find any, you know, occasion to ask about, you know, the Islam. So finally, you know, uh, I start thinking about everything what he say is right. But I don't tell nobody, you know. So, but I still attending to the church, and every every time I go to the church and I hear about Isa alayhi salam, it's it's God. So I start saying, no, it's not. It doesn't make sense to me now because God is the only one. In the Bible, say that, but I'm been learning is three persons and one and one. I start, you know, getting confused in my mind. Even I was teaching the Bible to the kids in the church. I was, you know, very deep, you know, helping in that place. So I say, no, 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 how it is possible, you know, you know, it's three gods in one. Now, you know, I hear there's only one. So one day I told, please, dear God, I don't want to love more than one. I just want to love you. So when I start, you know, uh, looking more in the Internet, more information about the Islam. So, and I start reading the, the, the Holy Quran one, two, three times, and believe me, I didn't understand, you know, 
in the beginning, it was, it's kind of hard for me to understand everything. It was something completely new for me, but everything, it, it makes sense, you know, about who was God. So, um, you know, one day, you know, my husband bought the movie, The Message. So he put the, you know, the movie and uh, it was like a little, you know, uh, to uh, hard, you know, see how it was, you know, uh, and the Prophet Muhammad alayhi, sal uh, alayhi salam, how he, you know, uh, start with the, the Islam. So I, I say, no, it, this is too hard for me. I don't want to see it. So I went to my room and I, you know, turned to sleep. So my husband is still watching the movie, you know, with my kids. Suddenly, I, I, I remember I start crying, and I wake up crying and crying and crying. And my husband say, what's wrong with you? I say, I don't know. I was shaking and crying. And uh, he tells me, you okay? Am I okay? My kids too? I say, I, can, I couldn't, you know, talk in that moment, just crying and crying. And it passed, maybe half an hour, and I couldn't explain my, my words in that moment, what happened with me. I just cry and cry, and my husband said, what's wrong with you? You know, and then finally I told him, what is that song while you was listening in the, in the movie? And he tells me, it's song, it's not it's any song in a movie. I say, yes, it is. It's in my ears. He tells me, no, it's not. Yes, it is. It, it was singing over there. What is that? Explain to me. So he goes and check the movie. And then finally, when I hear the, the Adhan, I tell him, this is the, the music, what is in my ears. And this is the music, but it break my heart. And I start crying and crying. And I feel something what I can't explain, you know, until now, it happened. It happened uh, eight years ago, and every time I remember that moment, I feel something, you know, it's beautiful, you know, what I feel. So he tells me that but this is the Adhan. So alhamdulillah, I keep going. I start feeling something for the Islam, you know, like I want to know more about it. So, but I don't tell exactly to my husband, I like the Islam, I wish to know more. I just looking for myself, you know. Every time he go to work, I go to computer and read the Quran and read the Quran and read about the Islam. And I keep going like this. So he tells me, Emma, I wish one day you'd be Muslim and you wear a, you know, you a juba and a hijab. I tell her, forget it, never. I'm gonna do that. I, I don't like it. So he tells me, Emma, please don't say that. I say, this is what I feel. So anyway, I keep, you know, looking at the internet. So one time, I hear, I see, they say, Dua Kumail by Imam Ali. So I open the page and I start reading the Dua Kumail. In the middle of the Dua Kumail, I start crying and crying and crying. And I take the computer and I do like this and I say, who write this? Who, who, who write this? It's impacted my life at that moment so deeply and crying and crying. I keep reading and I read it. I don't know for how long because Dua Kumail is not, you know, short Dua, it's a long Dua. So I read it and crying until I say, please dear Allah, open my heart. What happened with me? And I drop myself on the floor and I start crying and crying. And I say, who is Imam Ali? Who is him? Why he say these words? I love this. Immediately I hear myself say, La ilaha illallah, wa sharu la sharikala. I did the shahara over there in my house, crying. When, and the phone was ringing, and ring it, I didn't answer the phone, I don't know for how long. I, after that, I, you know, when I come down, I answered the phone, my husband say, what happened with you? You've been so, so strange all these days, what happened with you? And I couldn't talk, I just crying and crying. He said, Emma, what's wrong with you? You okay, you sick? So finally I told him, no, I am Muslim. He said, you what? I'm Muslim. Emma, is something good with you? What's wrong with you? I said, I'm Muslim, I'm Muslim. 
So when he came back to the house, I told him, I need a juba. What you say? I need a hijab. He said, what's wrong with you? Are you okay, Emma? I said, yes, I am. So I insist to him to, you know, get the juba and the hijab for me. He said, no, I don't think so. I think you are playing with me. I said, no, I'm not. So I have a little piece of clothes and I start covering myself with long clothes and something. And he, you know, he was watching me. I told him, take me to your church. And he said, to where? To your church? Or I don't know. And he said, no, Emma, it's a mosque. So he said, yeah, I went inshallah one day I would take you. So I start uh, uh, looking for, uh, you know, like a thirsty, somebody thirsty for a place to go and, ex and uh, look for Allah. Subhanahu so, wa ta'ala. So, and that's a f uh, Friday. I went to Garai Sales. But I told myself, I just want to go to find somebody who has hijab. The sooner she has hijab, I told her, take me to the place where they pray. Alhamdulillah, I, the first girl I saw, what I find, I see a lady, white lady, beautiful lady, with like a six, seven girls, all with hijab. And I told her, are you Muslim? And she watched me and said, and she said yes, I am. I told her, okay, you know what? I'm new Muslim. Yesterday, I think I am a new Muslim. She said, Mashallah. I told her I need a place to go and pray to Allah. And she said, Okay. She gave it to me address. I went to the mosque. I look at what is, you know, where I can go. And then I go to the men's room and they tell me, No, the girls' room is over there. So, Alhamdulillah, and my husband saw the other me and I started saying, Amma, are you sure what you do? And I told him, yes, yes. And I started telling him what happened, you know, in the internet when I read the Dua Kumeh by Imam Mali. I think Imam Mali is a very good in inspiration how he loved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because how long, you know, that happened, how long he wrote this you know, the was, you know, how many years, and somebody who was looking for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, the true God came and read it and make this impact on me. It's something that, you know, it comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So uh, since that day, I am embraced Islam. I love Islam. I love my hijab. I love my shuba. I love the most. I love it, you know, and uh, and whoever talked to me, I, I told them, I'm sorry, I talked to them about the Islam, I told them, you know what, it's nothing else better than what we can talk just about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and al hulbayt because al hulbayt it's a very good, pure people. Before I didn't understand, I'm being, you know, a reading about them, you know. Alhamdulillah, the experience what I have with uh, Imam Mali, Dua Kumil, of Imam Mali is, is beautiful, you know, and open my heart and understand, you know, how um, Prophet Muhammad Islam been received everything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and teach his family, you know, and his family was with the open heart to get everything and uh, spread it and uh, the proof it is truly from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because thousands, I don't know how many years, you know, exactly, I forgot right now, but you know, until now, whoever to, you know, hear about them with the open heart, they change, they change, okay? So now, you know, I'm happy, you know, in the way what I am, my family do not understand until now, they say, we don't understand why you change like this. Then instead, you know, uh, be more, uh, you know, maybe like a fancy dresses, what we can do, you know, how, you know, non-Muslim dress up and, you know, fix they, they self, you know, and do things what is not right. My mom said, unbelievable how you are. You look like you are now my daughter. She comes to me, you know, sometimes visit to me from my country, and uh, she likes how I am. But right now, inshallah, one day she will come and embrace Islam. But right now, 
she like it she you know uh, she said you are different you have something different and my mom is very you know uh, Christian too you know but inshallah Allah reveals her you know who is Allah subhanahu ta'ala you know I see uh, I go with uh, Fatima Tisakhra alayhi salam this you know our prophet daughter how you know she was you know, I think she is a very, you know, good role model for us, for the women, you know. Uh, when I hear about her mother too, you know, Hadi alayhi salam, I like to, you know, read about them, how they, how they, they was, you know, how they teach us about, you know, lady, you know, Hadi alayhi salam be a good wife, how she, you know, give everything unconditional, you know, to the sick of the slum, you know, it's uh, it's it's a good model, you know, for us to be a wife. And then, you know, uh, Lady, you know, Fatima Tisakhra alayhi salam too, you know, how she she was in the it's in the short time where she was in this earth, how she did a lot, you know, even if she was a you know a daughter who helped her father. A wife, you know, working, you know, and a good mother. Uh, I see it's 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 uh, they are our role models, you know. I don't see another one, you know, how they were, in the, you know how they dress dress up to, you know, and uh, obedience. For me, you know, I I like how they were, you know. So in. I see, especially in the girls right now, they like to, uh, you know, go to the to the mosque. You know, they say I am Muslim, but uh, in fact, you know, they look like uh, they are more. Um, how do I say I am Muslim because my mom is Muslim, not because they really want, you know, to follow up and leave this. Over here, there's a lot of challenges for our girls, you know. I have a, you know, 11 years old girl right now, but, you know, um, I think she's having a hard time right now to uh, uh, confront herself, how, you know, who she is. You know, she's not the same like everybody. She is uh, a Muslim and she have to live this way. So she goes, mom, why? I have to, you know, uh, be like, why I have to be like you? Why, you know, I have to dress like you? Why I can't be myself, you know? Because uh, it's not, you know, and right now the, it's not uh, the, the girls or uh, the women, I don't know how I can say, you know, not following, you know, exactly the, you know, the model of them. It's not easy, I, th I think, you know, living in this, you know, uh, life right now, you have so many challenges, you know, about not being close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do whatever they want, and they see, you know, the girls are singers, and they have money, they have, uh, you know, everything what they want, but they don't see it's a temporary, you know, right, life. This is why I try to focus on my, my daughter, you know. Uh, like, uh, you know, a mother, uh, they are, you know, really good models to be a mother, how they teach their kids, you know. And this time, I think it is a little more difficult for us teaching them, you know, uh, our kids because, um, again, you know, the, the life over here is, it's not, uh, it's not easy, you know. The Karbala, for me, it's very hard. Every time it's a shura, uh, my, my heart broke, even you know, though broke in pieces, I say, oh my God, you know, how, you know, them, no matter what, you know, they were suffering at Hulbeit, they never deny, they, be they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know. Uh, they keep 
you know, they slam up even with their own lives, you know. Uh, you see that, that when I hear about, you know, how the, the imams, you know, being, you know, murdered and they kids so that, you know, when uh, Su Sukaina, Sukaina alayhi salam, you know, see, you know, her father had into the, the bucket, right? I, I, I can't imagine, you know, how she feels in that time to see, you know, this father, you know, but their heart is still, you know, loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what I, I, I admire from Al-Hubayt. No matter what happened to them, they still loving God. They, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they still hoping on Him, you know. Uh, uh, who is the, 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 the lady who uh, say, even if we, I see everything coming to gain us, I just see the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know? So this is what every situation, her who comes to me, I say, I want to be like them. Okay, I want to be stronger like them. What is, uh, the imam who was always, you know, in, in, in jail, you know, everything dark, and he approached this time just to adore his Lord, you know. How they inspire, inspire us, you know. I think Karbala, like we say, Karbala is every day for us. We have to die for this love, not just physical. We have to die in our own desires. Everything what can separate us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to remove it, right? This is, uh, this is the amazing from, you know, al Holbeid. How they teach us to be a stronger. A stronger in, in love. Even if somebody hurts us, love them, pray for them, do offer them, help them. Don't pay back to them. If they, you know, hurts us, don't pay them back with that. No, show love. And this is something really, you know, hard right not everybody can do. But this is our models, you know, for us. And I love that. I, I like it, you know, how they are. In the beginning, I have a, little, uh, a lot of questions about Imam Mahdi because I'm similar to I've been learned before about Isa alayhi salam, you know, it would come into you know, in that time they told us if we come in and, you know, everything is going to change. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send them to fight, you know, and with the bed and, you know. So when I hear about Imam Mahdi, I, I asked my husband, it sounds same like uh, Isa alayhi salam. He, my husband explained to me and told me, read, you know, on the internet about it, how he is actually, you know, he said he is between us over here too. We don't see th them, right? So, but you know, they are waiting for the last word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the permission from him to, you know, say go, you know. So, inshallah, you know, we will see him at the time when, you know, that he will come in. We are expecting, you know, that happen. Sometimes I feel, you know, like a little uh, scared because I told my husband it's going to be a lot of, <laughs> I don't know, a lot of kill, you know, because they have to come over and clean up everything what is not good, you know. But inshallah, a lot of, you know, people in their time, they embrace the Islam and their time is, you know, I don't know, I think, you know, the time what, you know, Mam Mehdi, and I think it's alayhi salam who will come and to, you know, prepare everything for us, you know, and all this suffering, you know, life will be over, inshallah, you know. In the beginning, when, uh, because the media talked too much about the Islam, not positive, so we are scared in the beginning about it, because everything what we hear about the Islam is a negative. It's a negative, you know. But as soon as we do the first step, 
and let's start listening a little bit about this lamb. We will see it's completely different. The Islam is a pure. The Islam, I love the Islam because the Islam has the truth. Someone asked me the other day, uh, I went to my doctor's office, and uh, finally she, she tells me, am I you an Arabic? I said, no, I'm not Arabic. And she tells me, please, could you ask, uh, answer a question that I have for you? I said, yes, I will. What, what the, the Islam attracts you? Why you keep in the Islam how you are? What the attracts you? What I tell because the Islam is the truth. It tells me the truth about who is God. Okay. So my, you know, uh, message for everyone who, you know, are looking for God. I would say just uh, give a first step with the Quran. Look who is God in the Quran. The one who created us. It's in the Bible. The Bible told us about who is God. But unfortunately, you know, sometimes we read the Bible like uh, any other book. So we don't give time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, show us and tell us, I am the one who I am. I am the only one. And, uh, and the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam say, I am just Rasulullah. And this is uh, something beautiful because Isa alayhi salam say the same thing. Every time he prays, he prays to his God, his Lord. He teach us how to pray, how to look for God. And if it, we just give it to this, uh, uh, to somebody who speak us for about this love, just five minutes, I think it is enough to understand. But we, we have to do with the open heart, you know, and see the beauty of Islam. It's, Islam is not another religion. Islam, it's same message what Isa alayhi salam bring to us. It's the same thing. It's a confirmation, you know. From whom does patience learn? Is there a symbol or a perfect guide? From whom does patience learn? Is there a symbol or a perfect guide? When sits on man's shoulders the world and his restraint wants to fail him, his inner screams that need restraint. When sits on man's